Well, today, I'm just going to cook supper. I'm going to take y'all along on a ride. I'm just doing some New York strip. I got my friends at Porter Road. As usual, there's links down there in the description to order you some. It helps me out just a smidgen. But you look at these strips. One, the color is amazing. Look at that marbling. I'm going to throw one over to the side because I'm going to try something new and do it on the Blackstone. So if it don't work, we'll grill up the other and you'll see the other video. But I think it worked out because you're seeing this video. I'll show you one more time that color, that marbling. All I'm going to do right now is make some smoked salt. Nope, I've already made the smoked salt, but you can make some of that description I just pointed to up there in the corner. We're going to hit it pretty heavy here. Be scared to go heavy in life. Live life to the extreme. Light a mic like a candle. No, anyway. Get her pretty dosed up there with just that Jack Daniels flavored smoked salt. Let it set for about 30 minutes. That 30 minutes is up. We'll be right back. Okay, I lied. Uh, that went 33 minutes. But it done its job. That salt, it pulled out that moisture and then it pushed that moisture back in and it flavored it up and it tenderized it. Made this steak more awesome than it already was. It even enhanced that color of that steak. Let's wipe it off and get our ghee and get you a thermometer and set that thing for 121 degrees. Because that's what we're going on the internal. And uh, we're going to make a little side salad and that's going to be with some taters we already boiled up, some cheese and bacon, cilantro we forgot to use. Let's go outside. Like I said, we're doing this on the Blackstone. We're going to see if it works. I've got one side set to high heat where I'm putting that ghee, or medium high, and the other side is on low heat. Throw that strip down on the hot side. Let it roll on here for about, I say, no, two minutes. See if we can get a nice little crust going on. That two minutes is up. We're going to add a little bit more ghee and flipper, making sure to baste that stuff in the butter. All righty. Looks like that fat cap might have held that meat off of it just a little bit. So any other time, I think I would have probably just put it over there and finished the cook. But I want a little bit more sear. So I'm going to go 30 more minutes. I'm Ooh, don't go 30 minutes. Go 30 seconds on each side while holding it down. Make sure we got good contact. Then we're going to stick it over here on this wire rack. And, uh, slide that probe into that meat finish this cup now we're sitting here at about 113 degrees so it's only going to take about another two minutes to finish this cook but if we hadn't went back on them 30 seconds it might have took four minutes who knows we're just 121 is just a good temperature when it reaches that 121 let's take her off a couple hats of butter on it take it inside cover up let it rest while we work on this side salad Take them taters that you have boiled up to fork tender. Smash them like a smash burger. Let them roll for about, just say, two minutes aside, just like we did the steaks. Hit them with a little salt, pepper, garlic, mojo blend. Add a little bit more butter because we're making this thing as healthy as it can be. A good helping of your favorite cheese. Use as much as you like. And bacon because bacon is good. Covered up with that fancy lid that you bought from Walmart because, you know, everybody's got to have their fancy lid until it's done. There you have it. Here's our steak. I would say the sear turned out pretty good. Nice looking steak to be done on a flat top. That's like butter. Now, let's go ahead and sneak a bite here. See, huh, let me tell you, smoked salt fools the taste buds into thinking this thing's been grilled. I already tell you the tenderness amazing tender anyway because it's dry aged it comes from happy cows that salt just uh helped it out just a little this is what your steak should look like anytime you eat a steak it should be rare that's where all the flavors at you keep you cook it done you cook the flavor out oh me and now you see why i put on a guinea pig apron because 110 degree weather outside made me as juicy as that steak lid right there. Let's taste that salad. Make sure it's worth writing home about. Yes, it is. Let me tell you guys, this is something you need to try. I'm impressed with the old Blackstone here. It's uh, becoming a 
new little favorite cooking apparatus I've got. You know, I appreciate you. I really do. I really appreciate this steak. Mojo is out.